circle and its parts in this module you will learn about a circle and parts of a circle we are all familiar with circles suppose we take a line segment and fix it from its one end and rotate it the path formed by the other end of the line segment is a closed 2d shape it is called a circle we know that a line is a collection of points and if we cut open this circle we will get a line thus we can say that a circle is a collection of points which are at fixed distance from a fixed point this fixed point is called the center of the circle while this fixed distance is called the radius of the circle this circle divides the region into three parts namely exterior of the circle interior of the circle and on the circle now if we take a line segment of length twice the radius and fix it from its middle point at the same center and rotate we will get the same circle this line segment is called a diameter and a diameter is equal to 2 into radius as we are talking about lines and circles let's find out some more terms which are related to circle and line segment to do so take a circle and a line segment this line segment is in the exterior of the circle if we move this line towards the circle at some point it will touch the circle and then enter the interior part of the circle and it goes through the circle have you noticed that a new line segment is formed if we keep on moving towards the center the length of this new line segment increases and after center it starts to decrease till the length of this line segment becomes zero and we have only one point in common between the circle and the line segment now we have got three things here one a line segment that touches the circle at only one point second a line segment which goes through the circle from both the ends and third a line segment having both the end points on the circle this first one is called a tangent this second one is called a secant this third one is called a chord have you noticed the chord divides the interior of the circle into two parts this area enclosed between the chord and the circle is called a segment now you see one part is smaller and the other is bigger in size smaller one is called a minor segment and bigger one is called a major segment till center the length of chord increases and after crossing the center it starts decreasing thus it is largest in size when it is at center but the line segment that passes through the center and joins two points on the circle is its diameter therefore a diameter is the largest chord of a circle and we know that diameter divides the circle into two semicircles so when minor segment is equal to major segment we get two semicircular regions now first we will consider these two points only where the chord touches the circle these two points are on the circle that means from one point to the other point we can go either clockwise or anti clockwise thus we also get the two parts of the circle each of these is called an arc the longer arc is called major arc whereas the shorter one is called minor arc we write a curve over the name to represent an arc like arc ab now arc ab can be this one or that one so we mark two points point c on major arc and point d on minor arc thus arc acb is the major arc and arc adb is the minor arc if length of major arc is equal to the length of minor arc then we have two semicircles now we know that a circle has infinite radius of the same length if we consider any two radii then this pair also divides the interior of the circle into two parts 
This each part is called a sector. The smaller one is called minor, while the bigger one is called major sector. Let's recap. A circle is the collection of all points in a plane which are equidistant from a fixed point in the plane. A tangent is a line which touches the circle at one point only. A chord is the line segment whose end points lie on the circle. A diameter is the largest chord of the circle. A segment is the area enclosed between a chord and a circle. An arc is the part of the circle. Any two radii divides the interior of the circle into two parts. Each part is called a sector.